Okay, this is a Scorebot 3 uh, robot, I guess, robot arm, version 3. And what I'm going to do today is run it from 3L298 uh, dual motor controllers. There's one, there's a second one, this is an Arduino Mega. There's a third one, kind of generic, that had to be modified. And of course, there's the 50 pin connector coming from the Scorebot that uh, I tapped into the pins going to the controllers. As you can see right now, that's the current on the left, 0 0.03 amps, uh, but nothing's running at this at this time. But it's going to be controlled through uh, a controller I wrote in Visual Basic for the Scorebot. You can see that right now. It shows me that I'm using basically the uh, the Dual 298. I didn't use a saber tooth in this case, and I selected um, joystick. Over here, I can select mouse. Or joystick. And this just tells me that I can move with the mouse. I can move these, the hip, the arm, the forearm, wrist rotate, claw, and of course this is my throttle positions here as well. So with this demonstration I'm going to show you to using the um, Logitech Extreme 3D joystick. I'm going to try and hold this in one hand and uh, film it in the other. So for demonstration purposes I have the top hat which controls basically the forearm up and down and if I pull the trigger and then hold, do that I'm going to be able to control the claw and rotate it as well so I'm going to go down with the arm and the forearm at the same time we're going to come up, come up with the forearm and the arm as well as rotate left rotate right and if I want to open the claw, I just use the twist function, similar to an excavator operations actually. And then go up again, just using the joystick control. And I actually have a uh, Scorebot controller just then, and what I'm going to do is modify that to work with the Arduino just to send serial commands so it would be uh, a little smoother. Now again, the encoders are not uh, programmed in this, it's just straight motor control for the uh, rotation. Again, the encoders in the back of the motors are not controlled by the Arduino. I could do that with uh, at least six interrupts. And over here is the Scorebot uh, controller. That I'll be using with the Arduino Mega eventually. So that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed that.